Oh, hi guys thank you for stopping by my name is natalie i sell vintage and pre-love designer fashion at styledunder.com my channel is all about slow fashion sustainable living as well as health and wellness if this is your first time here welcome i drop videos two days a week every mondays and wednesdays so go ahead and hit that subscribe button you're gonna need some white vinegar a pot to boil your lock in i'm using a can since i don't have a pot that i don't want to eat out of again and also a still wool pad, of course your lock and keys. You're gonna need a towel to clean up the mess and a little later down the line, pliers to get the locks out of your warm vinegar. We're gonna pour our vinegar into our pot or in my case, into my can. Drop our keys and lock, padlock inside. And we're going to bring that to a boil for about five minutes. Let that cool off for a couple of minutes. Use our pliers to get the lock out. We're going to work on that one first. You'll notice it will be a copper collar, which is totally normal. That's just the top layer. Once you start scrubbing it with a still wool pad, the actual brass color is going to reveal itself. Sporadically, I will use the vinegar um, just to dip the still wool pad inside. It actually helps clean it up faster. So that's one trick that you can use to make this go a lot faster for yourself. And right away, you're gonna notice that it will start changing color and it will go back to its natural brass color. It works like magic, doesn't it? <laughs> Just like that, it's nice and shiny. It doesn't look anything like how it looked before. What I like about using this still wool pad is that you can get into these hard to reach places like this with very little minimal mess left behind from, you know, something like Brasso's or any other compound that you normally would use, you know, as a polishing white. We're gonna do the same thing for our keys. Here's a contrast so you can see a before and after of both keys. Another cool trick with the pliers is to use it to get inside the grooves of the keys so that the color can be the same all around. So you don't have any copper inside of the grooves. So I would just lay the edges on top of the pliers and just go back and forth inside of them. And here you go. Just like that, it's totally done. It's back to being its natural price brass brass I cannot talk <laughs> brass color shiny and clean and look it looks nothing like the way that it looked before what do you think if you like this video give it a thumbs up remember to subscribe to my channel for videos every Mondays and Wednesdays you can shop by pre-love and vintage designer accessories at styledunder.com and connect with me on social media at styled under 25. Until next time, take care of yourselves. Au revoir, thanks so much for watching.